This week's episode of NRW is presented by Painted Visions, Comics, Cards, and Games in Woodbridge, Virginia. Stop in this week and use promo code NRW to save 10% on this week's new books. What's up, people? It's your man, Patrick Michael Strange. Welcome to New Leafs Wednesday and our new format coming at you from my casa, mi casa, Strange Manor. And joining me on this week, all by his lonesome, we don't need three people this week. All we need is one Joe Carabello. What's up, brother? It's good to be back, man. I love being on the show. It's a great show. Thank you, sir. Happy to have you on, man. Though we, your last time you were here with your lovely wife, Carolyn. Shout out to Carolyn Bolesky. We love you. Curl Studios in the house. That's right. All right. So we are doing this new thing. Um, for y'all, I don't want to go stress on it too much, but let us know what you think in the comments, all right? So let's hit it up with our new style, and we're going to go off on pop culture off the top. So, my man, have you been tuning into anything on the fall TV schedule? Well, really, really, there's only thing I want to talk about. Well, oh, show. here and we it's go. It's no secret. Man. It's no secret at all. Why? Why? Because the world must know. You, sir, are a huge fan of Gem and the Holograms. Yes. And you want to see this movie. I, I, I do and I don't. Like, you do and you don't? What's I, up with that? Because um, I am such a huge Gem and the Holograms yeah. fan. I've read the reviews. I've seen the trailers. It isn't the Gem I grew up on. Um, How so? Just seeing the trailer. If you're a Jim Hogan's fan, you know that you need to have misfits. You can't have a Jim movie without the misfits. And, that's like, that's and they're like the you... best part of like Jim. That's Beyond just, I love Jim and the holograms, but misfits rock it. They have some of the best music. And that's like that's their specter. That's their yeah. like that's their Hello. Pro antagonist, right? Exactly. You can't. G.I. Joe there? Cobra. They're not in there. They're not in there, dude. Who's in there then? Instead of them, Erica Raymond, who is part of the show, but well, you have Eric Raymond on the show, but now it's Juliette Lewis as Erica. Raymond, and it's just, it's not it. So, you know, I just want to say all these transitions that they've done from our favorite properties like G.I. Joe, Transformers, and now Gem, listen to the fans, listen to people that enjoyed it, you know, work are, off of that, not you afraid that changing it up like they're doing. Are you afraid that you're going to like it, though? Because, like, you never, because, yeah, there's changes going on. We're always going to change things from the original property, from a cartoon, <laughs> into, like, a contemporary movie. Because that's, that's how I hear, like, the contemporary take on it is you know, like pretty much social media, you know? I'm saying, but uh, these people who are buying into it that you want, that is that guaranteed fan base that's going to give you that guaranteed money, if you stray too much from that, that's not cool, man. Do they have your money? And then though? they... Oh, they're going to no. get your money. Right? Well, that's what we're doing now. Th thankfully enough, you know, the fans are showing and they're not paying into that product. So like Jim and Hogram's has bombed. Has bombed, yeah. Has bombed. It's not you can't really playing anymore. It. You can't unmake it. And that's another thing that I feel as a true Jim fan that you, you're messing up for us fans that want to give a faithful translation. Like for G.I. Joe, when they messed up with G.I. Joe, I wanted to be the guy that brought G.I. Joe to the screen, but yet they messed it up. So I've, I've got to wait at least a decade to reintroduce it to do it its justice because I've got to get away. I have to wait years before I can yeah. get the bad taste out but of people's mouths. Good. It looks good. I don't know you have about a movie that. that. Movies these days, they <laughs> always will look good. But they forget the content these days, right? All right. Well, let's get off of that topic. Like, what, do you think the Gemini Holograms fandom is that just as big as, like, the, how do you see how you see Gemini the Holograms? Is that the same way people are looking at Star Wars? The way they want the new the new one? Cause there's a lot of fear happening towards that now. Um, you I know don't what the think CNN so as thing, much. Right? What was it? CNN's or Fox News? Who was, like, talking bad about the... First the off, Fox think News? about the source. Fox News. Fox Come News. on now. Fox News, Fox think about the source. News. Uh, nah. <laughs> I think Star Wars is fine, but on, since you brought up Star Wars, uh, shout out um, in low pop culture topic news of the week, what's going on right now that we want to talk on. Force for Daniel was this uh, great movement that occurred on social media where there's this young man that was dying, um, and uh, I'm not sure what his illness is, but because of his illness, you know, he probably won't see to see when Star Wars actually drops. But he gets to the fans now. encouraged everybody. Yeah. They encouraged J.J. Abrams, the whole team. And he actually, uh, as of this taping, today saw the film. So that's awesome. I, I, he got to see it. And, you know, you know of, the fans though. came out to help support that. I'm so afraid that, you know what? He's going to leak it, man. He's going to leak <laughs> it. He's going to start. He's going to be the person. Like, why not now? Yeah. I'm dying. What are you going to do? Exactly. What are they going to kill me? <laughs> <laughs> kill me? <laughs> You are too he's funny. Gonna, he's gonna go on social. He's gonna go on the Reddit. And he's gonna be like, "This is what happens, guys." You know, Dark Vader's Luke's father. Kylo Ren is really Luke Skywalker. <laughs> that's what they're gonna, he's gonna do. That. That's just, that's, maybe that's the ploy. They're like, Abram, Abrams won't fall for anything, but maybe if someone's about to die, they'll let him know. Hey, Amen. The tricky part is also maybe he's not seeing the complete film, so it might not be as. Well, great that, that is true. They did. It was the unfinished, the unedited 
uh, it's not it's still being edited so it's not finished yet but that, it's great to show that like you know like social media can get people exactly just, you know i guess see their dreams right joe so with this new segment we want to talk about something that we're reading or watching right now um for the show so let's talk about what you are reading right now what are you watching reading going on what's what with you well you know so, what, what do you really, recommend what i'm really reading right now okay is this book right here curls curls my partner my i'm partner not surprised prime <laughs> has a new book yes that's actually the first collection of every single curls comic strip that she ever did I'm checking that out. Uh -oh. Over 250 pages of Dude, everything. Let me see it. You gotta check that out. Let me see it. Talk on it while I'm looking at it. Man. Everything. It's Bruh. a story about curls and her imaginary friends who could be imaginary, but they're life size giant toast, you know, applause to fighting fish, all these animals. Could be imaginary, could be not, but it's a whole bunch of fun and Undertaker. Everything that you can ever imagine. Of course, they had to put wrestling into it. You must read <laughs> this book. You must check this out. I'm always about digging deep and making sure people are seeing things that they won't be able to see. Before. Definitely, I love I love your, her humor. I love your wife's humor. I love her style. Curls. You guys see who's who's believing in this right now? Jimmy Palmiotti, Nick Galifianakis, yes. Dave Navarro. They all quoted and saying they love this. So definitely, people go out there and check that out. And also, of course, yes. right front here, uh -huh. Graphic Inc. The DC Comics art of Darwin Cook. Hell, Darwin is yes. the man. Hell yes. I am a fan. So all, if any of you guys who love Darwin Cook, everything you can hear, these are all the, these are all sort of like the one shots, the short stories that are not in the, the main, the main segment there. Well, those are some great recommendations, Joe. I, you know I love your wife and everything you guys are doing with Curl Studios. I, I do and I'm a huge fan of Darwin Cook, so I'm definitely going to check that out. Bruh. Bruh. I know you like comics. I know you like recommendations on different stuff. Yeah. I know you like the big two. We all grew up on big two, but are you checking out Valiant Entertainment? Seriously. You know what's Be funny? honest. There was a time when the, they were part of the, the, they were the three. You know, it was, it was, it was going to be Valiant, DC, and, um, and Marvel. I don't know how it could Well, I wouldn't say they were in the top three. Well, I there was that, when it came to how many characters they had going on during, during the true. late 90s. And actually con continuity and stories and superheroes that were yeah. a big universe. Exactly. So, so do you read that original material then back then? I read, I read some back in the day. Well, you haven't read the stuff. relaunch Not stuff. the relaunch. Well, I definitely want to suggest to you, brother. Oh, they brought back Bloodshot? Bloodshot brought is back. back Quantum Har and Woody? Quantum and Woody and Harbinger. And uh, they recently uh, got a film deal. So we're going to be actually seeing this as the first film out the gate, which is going to bring us a new audience for That's this stuff. That's going to be awesome. But man. Valiant Entertainment are really killing it, man. Outside of the, to me, I'm reading this before the big two. This is my superhero preferred universe. Uh, Bloodshot, Harbinger, Quantum Woody, Exo Manowar, all their titles. They recently had this uh, uh, miniseries crossover called Book of Death, where they actually gave us the fates of all of these characters, how they're actually going to die I like later that. on. They're brave enough to tell you how these characters are going to die and really just say that it's all about the journey. You know what I'm saying? Here's here, what you saw at the beginning, how they came together. Here's how they're going to die. Now just enjoy the ride of how we're going to get to this point to that point. Hey guys, it's Adam, manager at Pain and Vision. Sorry I couldn't be on the show this week, but uh, feel free to stop in and use the promo card NRW uh, to save 10% on new books this week. You can find us at 3065 Galansky Boulevard in Woodbridge, Virginia. Uh, just stop in, use promo card NRW, and we'll give you 10% off this week's new books. Uh, if you're interested in Magic or any other card games, we do provide those. Feel free to stop in, ask about our subscription service, where you can save 10% on your books, and you get them pulled for you, so you don't have to worry about beating the rush. So Patrick, you already told me what you are reading. Yes, sir. What is your top picks for this? What are you going to buy at the store today, sir? For this new release Wednesday, November 11th, Joe, I'm going to give you all my picks. It was hard to break it down. And for you guys out there that are watching this, let me know what you're picking as well in the comments. I want to know because, you know, we have our recommendations, but I want to know what you're picking as well. I don't have enough time. Okay, exactly. And I don't have enough time to tell you all, so um, go to newreleasewednesday.wordpress.com where you can see all of my picks and all of Joe's picks. So I boiled it down to my top being the all-new, the all-different Avengers, bro. Oh, all-new, all-different oh. Avengers. Marvel relaunched their titles, and we are seeing... Earth's Mightiest Heroes kind of separated from the rest of the team. We have Captain America, Vision, Thor, and Iron Man. Um, That's going to be a big They've book. all separated. They've all come together now. And now Miles Morales, Spider-Man, is part of the team, as well as Nova and the new Miss Marvel, uh, uh, Muhammad. I forgot the name of the new uh, Arabic Miss Marvel. Okay. Um, but they've come together, and there's this whole new team. Adam Cooper is on the art chores, and Mark Wade is writing it. So I'm really curious with how they're going to bring this new Avengers team together where right now, you know, all the populace knows the movie Avengers, yeah. 
what are they going to feel about this new Avengers team and how they're going to go with it in this new relaunch. So that's what I chose to go with my top pick for it's this week, It's interesting you choose the all-new Avengers. Yes. But then for my pick, I took it to the whole different side. A book that took that supposed to have been eight years in the making. Pretty much. Captain yeah. America White, Jeff Loeb, and America Tim White. Sale. Yes. yes. I've been, I'm a big fan of those guys. Okay. Um, and they always have this classic storytelling aspect that they've been able to create with all their books. Mm -hmm. So I've been waiting for this book. I've been waiting every single month, but I've been I've enjoyed their time. colored books, yeah. if you will. And that's what it is. The Daredevils, know? the, the Spider-Man. Right? That is color. true. So it's interesting. And but I've heard yeah. some weird stuff and wild stuff about this. So I'm curious to check that one so out, too. If, if you're not reading that, I think you should check that out also with the, the new Avengers, too. The all-new Avengers. It's a good oh, New, all different. All different. That's Good pick right. there, man. That's right. And I rarely pick the top two, so that tells y'all I don't really pick the big two. You know, there must be a reason to check this one out, so check sure. it out, y'all. And Captain America. And what, now I got my picks, too, on the website, so check them out. Check, <laughs> check them out, out all the picks. We're going to give it to you guys. New release, Wednesday.wordpress.com.